A great start to league season, Kevin. What was your verdict on that today? I think we just edged it. I don't think there was an awful lot in the game. You know, Steny certainly carried a threat, you know, set plays, they're a big strong team, but, you know, it was one in the first half, I think it was Lyon went through. He, he maybe, you know, hesitated a wee bit of ball and allowed us to get bodies back. But apart from that, you know, I, I felt as the game wore on, we were getting a wee bit more confident and growing into it. Um, but a very scrappy game, you know, and I, and I think the one real bit of quality decided it, and that was for Mark Laird having the composure to, to you know, go round one or two, a jinky winger, and, and to get his head up and pick a pass as well. So, I mean, terrific for Martin to be ended, but I think that was the real only bit of real, real quality, you know. But there's a lot of individuals, both at Steny and, and our guys, that are capable of a lot better than that. And, but we'll look to build, and it's a great result for us. And you had to battle at times as well. Aye, listen, with. I mean, we've signed a couple of Warriors, you know, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, that's for sure. And, uh, you know, Jojo McGregor, Kyle Banner, Adam Cummins when he came on, outstanding. Um, Martin McNiff, obviously, Ross McGeeky, you know, you go to the more physical, but Dylan Mackin, you know, and we'll, you know, we'll talk to Dylan about the sending off and we'll get to the bottom of that. I don't really know, I think it was a bit of um, dissent or whatever, you know, complaining, but I think, for me, my, my disappointment with the referee's decision, without being critical, is that in the 92nd minute, there's an emotion to a football match, and I think you're well within your rights to flash a yellow and say if you continue, we're going to send you off. But I think to go immediately to the red is a bit harsh. Um, but it is what it is, and it does need, you know, it takes a wee bit of shine off it, to be honest. But, you know, we've just got to make sure, because Dylan was fantastic today. Mark McNiff had scored a lot of goals for Clyde in the past from defence, and he's, he's started off on the same foot. Ah, yeah. he's, listen, he's started well. He, he, he's a wily old character in that box, and he seems to pick up really good. But he's just got that knack. Um, but, you know, he, he was brought here to do that, but first and foremost, be a good defender, and he brings a steadiness and a steeliness to, to the whole team, you know, on that left side. And, um, and he's going to be a hard opponent for, for a lot of wingers this year. But, you know, again, like, like everybody, you know, the management team included, you know, weren't they perfect today? Um, there's a lot to improve on, there's a lot to focus and look at and, you know, evaluate how we did. And, and we've got to get better over the course of the next 35 games. And that starts next week against, you know, a, a really tough, tough team in Kelty. So, um, I will we'll just we'll roll on into that. How important was it to start? Well, you did so well in the Premier Sports Cup. And, you know, if you'd come here and lost, it would have been a bit of a downer, maybe. <sighs> All I'll say is nothing would be won or lost. Steny have no lost the league today. We've certainly no won it, you know. And 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 that you've got to be a wee bit pragmatic, you know, as a manager. And I've, but listen, I am thrilled. I'm absolutely buzzing to get the three points. Um, I've been on enough of them, you know, in my time here. Um, you know, scrappy one nils and or one manager thinks he's edged it, and I think I've edged it. So it's good that we're on the good side of that. But you're right. It's a terrific performance. A terrific win. We carry on, you know, the good good performances and the good results that we had in the Premier Cup. And, and we're on three points and that's all you can ask for at the end of the first day. It was chaotic, it was scrappy, it was a hundred mile an hour, it was a typical derby match, it was some meaty challenges, nothing over the score, but a great game to win. Did you enjoy watching it? I was nervous for the first 15, 20 minutes to be the last 15 actually I was quite calm and, you know, controlled and that's a belief I've got in the boys, but uh, I was a wee bit nervous the first 15, 20. I think having the fans back, it really adds. I must admit, I just, I'm delighted, you know, for everybody involved uh, in, in Scottish football that the fans are back, and um, it just adds to the occasion. And as I say, um, I'm buzzing to get the three points, but as I say, oh, bigger picture, nothing's been won and lost today, um, but we're delighted to be sitting where we're sat. Sets it up nicely for Kelty Hearts next week at Fourth Bank. Uh, it does, and you know, listen, the, the next game's always going to be the next most important game, um, and that's every bit of energy, every bit of you know, focus and concentration we've got. We'll go into that now to see what we can we'll pick, we'll try and pick holes in a strong Kelty side, they'll try and pick holes in a strong Stirling side. Um, but again, you know, I've got to get the boys in a place where they're relaxed and able to play the football that we're good at. You know, we can't be dictated by what the opposition are doing. At times today, I felt we allowed that to happen and we didn't play to our strengths the majority of the time. But as I say, that's, it, it is what it is and you've got to rise above that. But with good results comes a confidence, comes performances. So we'll get into that game and nice fit and we'll see what it brings. And Dylan Mackin's absence will give somebody else an opportunity. Would that be Dylan Bikey perhaps? I mean, Sean Heaver's been excellent. Dylan Bikey's, their, both their attitudes have been excellent. Kieran Moore's given me something to think about. Um, he's Kieran's so unlucky, you know, along with Adam, not to be in the starting lineup, to be honest. But that that shows a wee bit of strength and depth that we've got there. But Dylan, Dylan's going to be a big miss. Um, I thought he was outstanding today. Yeah, he's just his overall play, his willingness to work two two set of halves at times was just a he's a just an asset. He's it's, he's a big big.
like I said to us, he'll be a sore miss next week. But you know, he's got to learn that harsh lesson. And, and whoever whoever comes in and, and gets that jersey, have got to give me a real problem the following week. And a bit of bad news this morning with Paul McLean being ruled out long term. I I'll address that. You know, Paul, we know him. You know, um, he pulled up training, and uh, unfortunately, you know, he's, he's ruptured his Achilles. It's a different injury, obviously, for last season. Um, in case there's any Stirling fans wondering why we gave him a contract if it was injured. But that just simply wasn't the case. Paul's come back and he's been outstanding for this club in the Premier Cup. Um, yeah, it's going to be a long, long road back for him. You know, we're looking anything between six and nine months. Um, but the club, we, we, you know, I must applaud the club and how they've handled this. You know, they've, they've went. He's been MRI. The operation's already organised, and everything will move quite quickly. And and that's you know what this club's about. You know, looking after people. When all we can do is wish Paul a speedy recovery. Um, and we'll try and help him as a, a squad. You know, every player, every member of staff will try and you know keep his spirits up. But he's he's a bit disappointed. Let's not get away from that. But it's a huge, huge blow for us over the course of a season where Paul would have been without doubt a, a valuable player for us. So again, we have to ho hopefully it galvanises us. You know, and, and lets us forage forward. Good man. Thank you. Kev.